Hey, hey everybody, today I will be doing a video for you, but before I get started, um, I'm going to be telling you this right now, this is going to be a new series for my YouTube channel, it is going to be Ally Makeup Tips, so I'll be showing you a makeup tutorial like so, and then I'm going to give tips and tricks on how to do it. Mix it together, you get Ally's Makeup Tips. And since I'm doing you a huge favor, do me a huge, huge favor, please hit that subscribe button up there, it's free. And, you know, if you like this YouTube channel, you can watch all 59 videos. And this is including the 60th one. Woohoo! And, like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up and comment down below whatever video you want me to do because I'll surely do it. So, let's get on to the video. First things first, we got to put some hand sanitizer on because no one wants to have gross hands when they're doing their makeup. Next thing's is to pick out a lip scrub to put on your lips. I don't need one right now because I do keep my lips nice and make sure that there's no dead skin on, but you know, you don't need it if you don't really have any dead skin, but I only do it because I don't want like blotches of lipstick on like it looking like they have blotches on it, which is not good because it looks like there's parts that look really weird like some light and then some dark and it just doesn't look appealing and then it starts to peel off and no one wants that so scrub your lips but since mine are not like that I do not need to use this because I'm not going to use something that I don't need and waste that product because you can be more useful with that product later. Next thing we're going to add some lip balm. I'm going to show you some of the favorites and some of the ones that I use and some that I don't use which I don't really have any that I don't use them necessarily now. Like, blah. Okay, so I love homemade ones. I've got three homemade ones right here in pomegranate, butterscotch, and candies. But, you know, I prefer homemade because it's better because you can put whatever you want in it. But I'm not going to be using those today. I also have Vaseline, which is very good for your lips. But it does tend to dry out my lips for some weird reason. I normally use it for my cuticles, which is really good. Not anything that you need in this video. This is a homemade lip balm, which I love. I also have an EOS Blackberry Nectar and two soft lips in pearl and vanilla. I'll be using the vanilla since it's SPF 20, so when it's sunny outside, you don't have to, uh, your lips don't have to burn, so you know. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So then we're gonna add in the blush. Now, one thing about the blush is that a lot of people go heavy on the blush, tend to when you only need a light coverage of blush that makes your cheeks look very nice. And I'm trying not to do this over there because I don't want it to be weird. And I don't want to get everywhere because the only time I'm doing this in the bed is because like I've got family over here and so I don't want y'all to hear that noise. Okay. We don't need a lot because this is a natural look. So we're just kind of just adding into our natural look. Put that right back in the makeup bag. You know, just put the rest of that stuff that you use right back into that makeup bag. Okay. Next thing is we're going to add some mascara on. Now, mascara is a thing to where you can go heavy on, you can go light on, it doesn't really matter, but since this is a natural look, I'm going to go light, but I'm going to show you how to get each individual lash. So as we are combing our lashes and getting them through, we're actually going to go this way, so we can get it all over, and the bottom lashes, make sure that's a, kind of like an angle and put that on and then you've got mascara at the top and the bottom but remember be super duper careful since you can poke your eye with this and um i don't want you to be poking your eye out or anything so remember to be very careful next thing i'm just gonna comb my eyebrows because you want to put your eyebrows in shape obviously but, um, you know, it's what you prefer to do with your eyebrows. I just comb them and put them in shape where I want them to be. It's not really hard 
I'm going to curl my lashes now. You have to be very careful with this because there's different eyelash curlers. Now, this is just a little, like, $2 eyelash curler, but it's starters, you know. And we're going to curl our lashes. And I want you guys to be very careful because this um, thing can sometimes come off the rubber thing. And then it's going to kind of like hurt your lashes. It does do that sometimes. And um, one more, a couple more tips is to wash out your brushes because, and wash out your makeup tools because it has like stuff and gunk in there from other times that you've used it. No, no. Okay, and now we're going to add on the lip stuff. Lip stuff. Don't even know the proper name for it, and I just dropped that one. But that one I wasn't going to use anyway. It was an Avon Juicy Tube. Was it? What's Juicy Tube? Hmm. No, I wasn't going to use that anyway. I was going to use this little um, CoverGirl 540 Midnight Mauve. And I just like the light pink color, you know. Add it on, and this is my makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tips and trick with me. And please hit that subscribe button. I'm really looking for new subscribers and new people to kind of talk to and meet in the comment section down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.